Make your way to your seats. Showtime! Please make your way to your seats. The show is about to begin. Showtime! Let the magic begin! Because we talk about new battery technology all the time. Yeah. And so Apple, it's, although it's not Apple specific technology supplier um, of theirs TDK. called TDK, who's doing this. And this is supposed to have a hundred times energy density than conventional uh, solid state batteries. Yeah. But hundred times energy density doesn't mean a hundred times the power. It means about three times the power. When you say three times the power, you're talking about energy density usually applies to how much energy you can get in or out at once. Yeah. Um, versus uh, how much it stores over a long term. Yeah. 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 But yeah. So based on what just reading the article, like it's got a hundred times uh, the energy density. Um, but then it says they could store three times the power of current iPhone batteries that are the same size. And what's cool, I think, in the article, it says they're looking to bring them to, to products by 2025. Yeah, that's why I wanted to jump on this early. Like, they're just what? talking about this now that um, if it's three times, that's great. I mean, I was expecting more. Um, and again, I don't I know. Wrong, but... And we look overall at these things, you know, the battery will provide so many amps out over a period of time. So yeah. are we talking a... Uh, traditional 1800 milliamp type battery are we talking about it's you know three times means it's 2700 or the next generation off of that or are we talking about your your phone will last three days now i think that like if we're talking uh and this is just just me i didn't do a deep dive um but it's, let's say it's a, a 5,000 milliamp hour battery we currently have. And if we're talking three times the power, then I'm thinking we're talking 15,000 milliamp hours of current power. So nice. that's, again, if there's any experts out there, feel free to correct me. Um, but um, yeah, I think um, I think we're talking. So like, yeah, it, it's going to be three times everything. So three times the, the length of time that you can... Um, um that you can use it for that it lasts the question i have is is it three times the the charging time <laughs> um that will be something to 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 know or to find it, out usually when it's the power density is high you can charge faster that's yeah. we've talked about that with um the planes and whatnot and a few of these things uh these batteries are oxide based uh solid electrolyte in contrast with the electric liquid electrolyte used in lithium ion batteries so these are supposed to mm. be e extremely safe and won't necessarily mm. uh bust into um yes <laughs> like that uh that huge f fire that happened in south korea the lithium ion factory just a couple days ago oh i didn't see about that one yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. But I like this is cool. I really like this because we talk about a lot of future tech on here. And this one is one that seems to be closer future tech as far as like should be seeing next year. But again, the thing with the thing I don't like about Apple is they never post the milliamp hours of their batteries. So like they could be making these claims and we have no clue. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see, right? Like, that's why I'm, I'm trying to understand what this will actually mean. But it's a means uh, batteries are smaller, charge faster, last longer, have a lower risk of damage, uh, temperature change. When we start seeing these, um, we might start to see these transition to EVs and stuff where we talk about, you know, the, the risk of, of fire and all that stuff. Um, oh, I just, I just, uh, I did just do a quick search. So the, the 15 Pro Max has... 4400 milliamp hour battery in it okay yeah. there you go yeah so that's actually it's interesting because um in the past and i haven't been keeping up on this in the past iphone batteries have been significantly smaller than android batteries as far as for the same size same form factor so it's interesting to see i i guess they're still smaller because we're looking at 5,000 milliamp hour, 5,500 in, in these, in these phones, even up to 6,000 milliamp hour in Android. So 
it'll be interesting to see where this goes. Definitely. I like um, when we look at this, the article talks about they're going to be first put in watches and earbuds. So I could see 2025, 2026, the uh, Airbud Pro version three or version four, whatever it's going to be. That's got yeah. three times the battery life where it'll go all day potentially yeah. versus the six hour uh, that it has now the version. So I'm Let's hope Apple doesn't charge three times the price for them. Yeah, I mean, it does have the Apple tax. Say yeah. what you will. I waited a long time. I talked to a lot of people before I bought my Apple uh, Air uh, Pro, AirPods Pro, um, and they all love them. And then I got a deal on mine because I'd bought um, either an iPod or a laptop, and I got a two hundred dollar card. So the three hundred twenty bucks wasn't too bad when you take two hundred bucks off. They're friggin' expensive. They work great. I love them. I wear them all the time. Um, I bought the Apple extended warranty because I had a problem with one and I took it in and, you know, they plate replaced it. And then it was 49 bucks or something for the warranty at the end of my three year warranty. Just before it was up, I took it in because there was a crackling on headphones. They replaced both of them. Wow. Um, so, you know, I got brand new headphones at the end of the three year warranty cycle and they're working great. So they treat you well. Yeah. There is an Apple tax involved. Um, but if you're switching between Apple devices, the headphones work like, like yeah. nobody's business. So, so a funny thing, funny, uh, a little quirk about those AirPod Maxes, those, the ones that go over the ears. Oh yeah. They are connected. So the headband yeah. plugs, plugs in. So like they have lightning connectors, mini lightning connectors that are plugging into each headphone. I did not know that. Yeah, I didn't know it was a lightning connector. I knew they were connected. Yeah. And you can plug it in. I'm not a big fan of the over ear. I like them for the noise blocking and whatnot, but because of my glasses and because yeah. of certain situations, the pressure is too much. So I love the ear pods versus those. Um, yeah. 